Welcome. If you are looking for online ther therapy for agoraphobia, then I invite you to go to my website and learn more about the online psychotherapy service that I offer for working with agoraphobia and other anxiety disorders um, over Skype. So I offer Skype therapy for agoraphobia and anxiety um, and it works extremely well. You don't need to be in the same office with a therapist to receive good quality psychotherapy but you do need to see each other and that is possible with Skype or similar uh, video service uh, where you can see each other. That's really important um, and if you can see each other then there's no difference at all between uh, online therapy compared to meeting a therapist uh, in person. So the approach that I use for online psychotherapy for agoraphobia is called mindfulness therapy and specifically mindfulness-based exposure therapy. So as you will be aware, in order to overcome agoraphobia, you will need to uh, design a program of exposure challenges. Uh, this is very well understood uh, as a necessary part of your recovery process. You must essentially learn how to work with your anxiety rather than trying to avoid it. The biggest problem that I see with people suffering from agoraphobia is that they start avoiding those anxiety producing uh, situations and they start to retreat more and more into a smaller and smaller space. Um, avoidance is a very bad um, way to, to work with anxiety in general because avoidance itself is fueled by fear. So when you are um, giving in to avoidance, you're basically feeding the underlying anxiety and strengthening it even more. So you must not um, fall into the trap of avoiding anxiety producing situations. Instead, we need to train with those situations so that you can break free from that anxiety. All anxiety is basically uh, composed of a series of conditioned, blind, habitual reactions. We become conditioned and these reactions operate subconsciously um, like any other habit. So the way to work with agoraphobia and anxiety is to uncover these, uh, un these conditioned habits and then start changing them. And we do this by bringing them into full consciousness. So habits require unconsciousness to work uh, fully. But when you bring a habit into conscious awareness, when you become mindful of that habit, that begins to uh, take the power away from that blind habitual reaction. So in mindfulness-based exposure therapy, we would design a series of challenges and then you train for each challenge very thoroughly using the principles of mindfulness therapy. Uh, typically, we would identify the first challenge in our series of challenges and then we play it through in the mind and then we watch specifically for the triggers and the anxiety reactions that get triggered. When we find the, the anxiety reactions, we then start developing this conscious, mindful relationship with that anxiety. And we start developing uh, independence from that emotional reaction by 
staying as the observer. So we're training ourselves to observe the anxiety without becoming anxious. So this is often described as developing independence. We, we can see the emotion, but we're not overwhelmed by it. So that's the first step, is de developing that independence. I also call that objective consciousness. We're developing um, conscious awareness in which the anxiety is an object that we see in the mind um, but don't react to. So objective consciousness is very important and that's the first quality of mindfulness that we're developing. The more that you develop this objective con consciousness, the freer you become from the anxiety. The second part of uh, recovery from habitual anxiety is to then start developing a compassionate relationship with the anxiety. The best way to think about anxiety is to imagine it as being like a child. The child is scared and what it most needs is the conscious and loving presence of its mother or father. When it has that conscious presence, when that relationship is strong and conscious, then the child rapidly overcomes its fear. It's exactly the same with our anxiety emotions, our internal anxiety is like that child. When we establish a strong, conscious and compassionate or loving relationship with it, that greatly accelerates its rate of healing. Uh, so building that is, is also essential for recovery. When it's very strong, then the anxiety starts to heal and uh, become neutralized effectively. So this is very much part of the mindfulness therapy training that I will teach you during our online Skype therapy sessions together. You do this training with the anxiety before you do the exposure challenge. Then when you do the challenge, you will essentially be putting your training into effect. You'll be now translating it into practical experience. Experiential learning is by far the most important uh, way to overcome anxiety. If there's any residual anxiety after doing your challenge, you would then work with that also using mindfulness. Basically, what we're learning to do here is learning how to meditate on our anxiety. This is the complete opposite of avoidance. And this is the proven path to overcome anxiety. It works amazingly well. When people start to uh, understand how to meditate on their anxiety, they recover very quickly. And I will teach you exactly how to do this during our sessions together. Most people suffering from agoraphobia will start to see improvements after the first two or three sessions. It really doesn't take that much uh, work to start seeing uh, improvements. You just know how you just have to know how to go about working with your anxiety effectively. That is the key uh, ingredient here. If you work in a very systematic way using mindfulness, 
you will rapidly gain confidence and you'll rapidly begin to overcome those anxiety reactions, those habitual anxiety reactions. So if you'd like to learn more about online psychotherapy for agoraphobia using mindfulness, then please contact me and let's schedule a Skype therapy session. Thank you.